today we're gonna cook rigatoni alla carbonara. We, I ate it a lot in Italy, it was really good. That's how I got this great body, eating the rigatoni carbonara. Well, like what, my new apron. Why are you wearing your pajamas? <laughs> I got this apron in Italy. I figured maybe I could get the first flagged cooking video. <laughs> yeah, so spaghetti carbonara or rigatoni carbonara. You can use any pasta really, but anyway. You're gonna use pancetta. You can always, this is Italian pancetta. You can also use regular bacon if you like. You can use like a whole pound of it. Just cook it very, very crisp. You slice it up and what you're gonna do is fry this up. And while you're doing this, you're gonna be heating up the water for your pasta. Well, since I'm making about two pounds of rigatoni, what I'm gonna use is six eggs and you're gonna beat your eggs. Okay, you're gonna use about a half a cup of heavy cream. Since I never measure, that's about a half a cup of heavy cream. And pepper, fresh ground pepper in there. Oops, let's get some salt going here. It's kosher, the rock the kosher salt. So. Oh, it's just salt for Christ's sake! Oh, Is it the special sea salt? Uh, it's just salt and pepper, people, okay? This is very fast to make. Bacon sizzling up over there. You make sure you make that bacon nice and crunchy. Or the pancetta, whatever you decide to use. You're gonna take about a cup and a half of grated Parmesan cheese. Yeah, that's about a cup there. And ooh, let's put ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, about another. Yeah, that's good. I can tell by looking at it if I'm gonna like it. And then when you when the dish is done, you can also sprinkle a little more cheese on top. Okay. Gotta let it get nice and crispy. So Frankie, you didn't say, do you like my apron? Make my mouth water, princess. Okay, the thing about this pasta dish is you're not going to cook the egg and the cream and the cheese. That stays in that bowl raw. When the pasta is ready, you're going to strain that pasta and you're going to put that hot pasta in here and mix quickly. It will cook the eggs and the cream and the cheese and it will get cooked up really, really nice. Then you're going to add the bacon. Of course, you're going to strain the bacon from any extra bacon grease and you're going to add the bacon to it as well. We're going to add, you see there's a rolling boil, make sure you have plenty of salt in there like I've told you before. You have to salt your water like the ocean. Like the ocean. Ah, there's two pounds of rigatoni. Okay, the bacon's getting nice and crispy. Chop up some fresh parsley. We need about ah, four or five tablespoons of fresh parsley. Mmm. Got a nice bite to it. Perfect. So it was 12 minutes. It just needed to cook for 12 minutes. So now we're going to strain this. Nice little steam bath. Yeah. You get a facial and cook at the same time. That's why I want. I like you cooking. I'm thinking of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to dump that in there. And real fast, you're going to stir this around. Real, real fast. See, and it's going to cook. In the heat of the pasta, the sauce cooks. We are going to get the bacon here, which you should really drain this on paper towels if you want, but I kind of like a little bit of the bacon oil in the sauce because bacon fat There's rolls. Nothing wrong with bacon juice. Bacon juice is good. How beautiful I, I, that is. Oh, that's gorgeous. Uh, wait to get a little color to it. Now we're going to add the parsley. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. It looks good enough to eat. Let's put a little grated cheese on top. Okay. And let's try this out. Oh, it looks so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. No, no bacon piece can in I, there. Can I try one? After I'm done with oh, this Oh, come piece. on. Come on. <laughs> that little piece right there is for Frankie. Test it out and you tell me what you think. Is it good, honey? Mmm. You really should try it. It's such an easy recipe. You can see I cooked this in under like 20 minutes. It's such a good recipe. 
easy to make and Bon appetit. And you have to get you have to make it with an apron like this, otherwise it doesn't come out as good. Mm. That's a fact. That's a very tasty apron. <laughs>